In this video, we're going to discuss your Automation CRM dashboard. This dashboard gives you a broad overview of some of the essential components inside of your system. And as you can see, right when you open it up, right when you look at the dashboard, the first few things are opportunities, pipeline value, and conversion rate. So opportunities are the amount of leads or um, you know prospects that you bring into your system and you label them as an opportunity. Uh, and then as you can see, you have closed, open, or lost opportunities. You have a pipeline value. So if you give those opportunities a value, let's say they come in from a certain um, pipeline or, or they're looking to buy a certain service or a product, you can give them a value. So then you can, at a glance, see, hey, how much, uh, you know, how many open, how much open pipeline value do I have? Do I have $10,000 that's still open that needs to be closed? You can also see how much you've closed during a certain time frame and how much you've lost. So if you close five out of 10 new leads, you can see what the value is of your lost opportunities, okay? Uh, and again, you can change the date, the time frame here. You can select different time frames and that'll change the data here. Uh, you can also see your conversion rate. So you can see the total opportunities, pipeline value of those opportunities, and then the total conversion rate during that time frame. As you scroll down, you're gonna to start to see some more data. The funnel and the stages distribution, those are specifically referring to pipelines, okay? So if you have pipelines and stages set up in your system, you're gonna be able to select different pipelines and stages here. Um, right now, I just have one in this account, um, and so you'll see it here, residential jobs. And I can see all of the different opportunities moving through that pipeline. I can see the new lead, uh, scheduled appointment, signed agreement, paid, and total one. So that's kind of like if you notice a funnel, they're going from the top of the funnel and going all the way down to the bottom, which means then they're a paid customer. And then I just have another representation of this over here uh, in a pie chart as opposed to a funnel view. Now as I scroll down, I'm gonna have a few different um, icons or tiles that I can uh, kind of mess around with. The first one is manual actions. Manual actions, if, uh, if you don't know what manual actions are, there's another video that uh, explains them and describes what a manual action is and how to set them up. But essentially it's you telling someone else in your system like, hey, this needs to be done. Either a phone call, a manual phone call, or a manual SMS. And you could do both of those in your system. You can do outbound calling and outbound SMS. And if you set up manual actions, you'll see at a glance total pending and then total from each one. Um, you know, that's still pending. So if you have 10 pending, maybe you have five phone calls, five SMSs that need to be uh, completed. You can also select the campaign or the workflow here by selecting, clicking this drop down. That'll give you the total pending manual actions for that specific workflow or the assignee. So if I click this drop down here, I'll see all the pending total manual actions for that assignee, whether it's Jim, John, Jane, doesn't matter, right? So that's kind of like a managerial view. You can see all the manual actions right there in front of you. Same thing with tasks. So if you notice tasks right here, you'll be able to see, uh, you select this drop down here and you can see all the tasks for a certain user. You can select the uh, status, whether it's completed or pending or just all. And you can also change the um, organization due dates based on ascending or descending order. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see some more data. Now, this data is reliant on integration. So you have to integrate your Google accounts to see this. So you're gonna see, uh, well, actually, lead, lead source report does not need a Google account. I just, the only one I have in here is Google Ads, but you can have lead sources from all over the place. They can be from organic, social media, a blog, um, doesn't matter, right? And that'll give you a bird's eye view of your lead source report and exactly, uh, you know, where people are coming from, if they're still open, won, or lost, and it's gonna give you a win percentage here as well. It's really good for tracking sales teams, uh, tracking, you know, month to month, quarter by quarter, seeing who is, or how many people are getting closed, or, you know, how many opportunities are won from a certain lead source. As I scroll down, I'm gonna see things like Google Ads, Google My Business, and Google Analytics. And these are just snapshot bird eye view, bird's eye views of these different platforms. And it, this is where it's dependent on an integration. If I have a certain Google account integrated, I can connect the Google Ads account and see you know, all my Google Ads data. Same thing with Google My Business. I can uh, connect a GMB location and see all the GMB data. 
and same thing with Google Analytics. I can select a certain Google Analytics view and see all the data for the Google Analytics account. And at the very bottom, we're just going to see you know some other some more simple data metrics um, based on website visitors. We're going to see conversion rates and visitors by device. So we're going to see total visitors compared to the total amount of booked appointments, which is integrated with your calendars here in the system. And then we're also going to see visitors by device, which is uh, desktop, mobile, or tablet. And that is the desktop, or I'm sorry, that is the dashboard video. And I appreciate you guys watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.